This is the 40 minute sitting practice. This sitting practice invites you to find a time to allow the, yourself the opportunity to pay attention to you. It's a real invitation to step out of the usual doing mode, out of automatic pilot, and to step into simply being. So finding a time and space now that suits you, sitting on a chair, stool or cushion, as feels comfortable. And closing our eyes if that's okay to do so. And coming now to sit, beginning the practice by bringing awareness to our posture. Perhaps tuning into the sensations of contact between the soles of the feet and the floor supporting us. Perhaps bringing awareness to the contact between hands or between our hands and our lap. Seeing if it's at all possible during this sitting practice to allow the spine to be self-supporting. So perhaps sitting with our backs a little way away from the back of the chair. Our shoulders upright, our head upright, our chin tucked in a little. Perhaps imagining the crown of the head pointing upwards towards the sky. And in many ways establishing the details of the practicalities of our posture is not necessarily most important. What is instead is the attitude that this posture conveys, one that is about waking up, that represents stability and being present for the next 40 minutes or so. So having established a posture that supports your intention to wake up, let us spend a minute or so just tuning into it by bringing awareness to all these parts of the body that are in contact with the chair, the floor, the cushion, or whatever else is supporting you as you sit. Now very gently, moving our attention from the posture now to the sensations of breath in the body. Perhaps beginning by following the breath as it enters the body through the mouth. And seeing if it's possible to imagine the breath leaving the body through the toes. So beginning with the breath as it enters through the mouth. Following the breath down the body. And imagining the breath leaving the body through the toes. Seeing if it's possible to imagine the whole of the body breathing in this way for several breaths. Sooner or later you'll become aware that the mind has wandered off from the breath. Perhaps wandered off to thinking. Wandered off to daydreaming. Memories maybe. 
or pictures or images in our mind. And if that's happened for you, just gently reminding ourselves that that's what the mind inevitably does. And we aren't trying to stop it in any way. And instead congratulating yourself for having noticed that the mind's wandered off. And perhaps just very gently, in your own time, just bringing it back, just to focus on the breath. Perhaps now beginning by focusing on the breath at the tip of the nostrils. Seeing if it's possible to bring awareness to the sensations of breath at the tip of the nostrils. Focusing on the sensations of breath in the right nostril. And in turn, focusing our attention on the sensations of breath in the left nostril. You may have noted an absence of sensations of breath. And if that's what's happened for you in your experience right now, that's absolutely fine. Just noting that. Our task during this sitting practice is simply to be aware of what's already here. Following the breath now, from the tip of the nostrils down to the back of the throat, just seeing if it's possible to be really curious about what sensations of breath are here in the back of the throat. maybe as we focus on the breath, at back, the breath at the back of the throat that we start to get taken off by thinking about the breath. Perhaps how the breath should be. Or wondering why the breath is the way it is. And if we have got tangled up in thinking about the breath just gently seeing if that's seeing if it's possible to just gently let go of that and just come back to the sensations of breath itself. Now with a, again with a real gentleness with ourselves, moving our attention down to the chest area. And what tells me that my breath is here in the chest area? What sensations are present? Heavy sensations of breath, maybe. Tight sensations of breath. Shallow. A lightness. Just discovering what sensations of breath are here for you in the chest.
Now moving from the chest area, following the breath down, perhaps placing our attention on that space between the chest and the belly. Are there any sensations of breath here? It may be possible to detect subtle sensations of breath. There may be absence, sensations, absence of sensations of breath. Just noting whatever comes up. And again, if the mind has wandered as it may have done many, many times throughout this practice so far, our task is always the same, just to note where our mind was taken off to. Just to make a little note of that and just to very, very gently, without judgment of ourselves, bring ourselves back to the breath. And now moving from this space between the chest and the belly and moving down to the belly itself. So what sensations of breath are here? Following the in-breath in the belly for its full duration. Now perhaps following the out breath in the belly for its full duration. Perhaps as we bring awareness to the sensations of breath in the belly, we can become aware of the changing nature of the sensations of the breath. Just being curious about whatever comes up, breath by breath. And if our minds wandered off and we've reacted to either sensations of breath or we've simply been taken off elsewhere, again without any judgment of ourselves, understanding that this is what the mind does and it may do it many, many times. So without judgment of ourselves, just gently bringing ourselves back just to the breath in the belly and observing sensations breath by breath. Reminding ourselves that the breath is always available to us as an anchor, it's always available to us to stabilize our attention and to allow us to drop into the moment. Bringing the breath with us and now turning our attention to bodily sensations. Beginning 
by opening to bodily sensations as they arise. What sensations are here right now? Sensations arise moment by moment. May become aware of sensations of discomfort. Of pain even. Perhaps there are sensations of warmth. As we open up to bodily sensations now, we may also quickly notice a very swift reaction to those sensations, particularly those that we label unpleasant. And again, our task is always the same, just to note those reactions. And just to very gently, seeing if it's possible to come back to allowing the sensations to be present just as they are, without feeling any need to fix or get rid of sensations in any way. An opportunity here to see if it's possible to let go of wanting things to be different from how you find them. It's an opportunity to just be really curious about bodily sensations, about how they arise, how they fluctuate and change, and perhaps even dissolve. Directing our attention now to perhaps specific areas of the body and any sensations present. So what sensations are here in the soles of the feet? Perhaps those sensations of pressure between the soles of the feet and the floor supporting it. Sensations are in the hands. Sensations are present perhaps in the thighs and the buttocks. The lower and upper back place where we can commonly hold tension. The shoulders maybe. And the sensations of our fa in our face, of our facial expressions. Just becoming aware 
of these sensations now. And as we've turned our attention towards bodily sensations, again the sensations of discomfort or intensity may have become apparent to you. And again there's just this opportunity to note our automatic reactions to our experience and to very gently see if it's possible to let that go and just drop back into observing the sensations as they are in this moment. Perhaps choosing how to most wisely respond. We can either tiptoe up to the sensation of discomfort and we can actually use the breath to imagine the breath breathing into and out of the sensation as a way of exploring it a little further. Perhaps saying silently to ourselves, soften, soften. Or alternatively, having this discomfort in our awareness, we may instead choose to just adjust our posture in order to feel more comfortable. So as sensations of discomfort arise, we, can, we have a choice about how to most wisely respond. To take a peek at the sensation, to use the breath to breathe into and out of the sensation as a way of exploring it a little bit at a time. Or alternatively, having noticed discomfort, we may instead to mindfully choose to adjust our posture in order to feel more comfortable. Now coming back to the body as a whole, just for a few breaths imagining the whole body breathing again and just gently allowing our attention on bodily sensations to fade. Let us now bring our awareness to another aspect of our experience. Hearing. Beginning. By opening to sounds as they arise, moment by moment. What sounds are here right now? You may again quickly become aware of how easily distractions come as sounds almost create a story in our heads. As we hear a sound and then think about what that sound is and when we perhaps heard that sound last or whether or not we like that sound. This commentary in our head can take, it takes off as a very automatic process. And again, noting that and just see if it's possible to then very gently let the story go and to just gently drop back into the sound it, itself. Almost 
like you're hearing it for the very first time. And you don't have labels for it. And you don't have a name for it. You just have the sound itself. As we invite sounds into our awareness, we also may have reactions such as wishing some sounds would go away and that others would stay around a little bit longer. And again, congratulate yourself on having noticed that reaction and just come back to the sound itself. This ability to hear being something that we just often take for granted in our day-to-day -day lives. Is it at all possible to discover the silence between sounds? Is it at all possible to discover sounds behind sounds? And now allowing the sounds to dissolve. And let's turn our attention now to see if it's possible to observe our thoughts in just the same way. So as we place thoughts centre stage now, What thoughts are here? Maybe quickly become aware of thoughts. Almost like a flood of thoughts maybe. Or you may suddenly be aware of a what seems like a complete absence of thoughts. As we invite thoughts into our awareness, we are doing this by not necessarily searching for thoughts, but just observing them as they come up. We may become aware of planning thoughts. Bored thoughts, frustrated and irritable thoughts, sad thoughts, self-critical thoughts. And again, our task is just to see if we can hold them as objects in our awareness without having to do anything else with them at all. We don't need to fix them, work out why they're here. We just need to hold them as they are. However, again, if we do find that we've quickly become entangled in our thoughts, just gently remind ourselves this is almost inevitable. 
And if you've got tangled up in your thoughts right now, just perhaps seeing if it's possible to perhaps come back to the breath for a few moments, returning to thoughts when we've been able to study ourselves. The mind is often an endless chatter of thoughts. As we practice observing our thoughts, we can perhaps play about with an idea. Perhaps imagining that we're sitting on the bank of a stream and we're sitting on the bank and our thoughts are leaves floating down the stream in front of us and just watching these passing leaves, watching these passing thoughts, noticing how some of the leaves get stuck and stay around for a little bit longer and how some leaves almost travel down the stream unnoticed and how some pass by at a steady speed and seeing if it's possible to just let the thoughts be and allow them to arise and go again in their own time. But again, if you get repeatedly drawn into your thoughts and it feels overwhelming, then really with compassion towards yourself, just return to the breath for a few seconds, coming back to the thoughts when you feel ready. As we turn our attention to watching our thoughts, it's also likely that they may be accompanied by some intense emotions. And letting those emotions come and perhaps go again in their own time, rather like clouds passing through the sky. And if we've got entangled in the thought stream, seeing if it's possible to place ourselves back on the bank, back on the river bank, gently reminding ourselves that we don't have to take our thoughts quite so personally. Dropping in with the breath at any point should watching thoughts feel overwhelming. And now, allowing thoughts and feelings to dissolve. Just very gently letting them go. And let's return our attention to the breath for the remainder of the sitting practice. Stabilising our attention 
back with the breath in the belly maybe. Or stabilising our attention with the breath wherever you feel it most for you. Just tuning in to the sensations of each in-breath and tuning in to the sensations of each out-breath. Allowing the breath to anchor us. Perhaps bringing awareness to that rise and fall of the belly wall as a way of stabilising our attention with the breath here. And as far as is possible to do so, congratulated yourself for having allowed yourself this practice, having paid some attention to your experience moment by moment.